figured it'd be up here. Another contract completed by, well, you again. I wonder if the Tong is testing me or something. Still, a success is a success, right? I hope I didn't scare the ambassadors too badly. When you enter the safe room, I heard the ambassadors trying to be quiet upstairs. Next thing I know, Stormfist thugs are waving their axes around and attacking the manor. I was about to leave the same way I entered. Well, I couldn't let you have all the fun. Seriously, you have to understand. My organization used to be respected. Now we're hunted for what we were, what we represented. That has to change. I was talking about you, but I also figured more backup wouldn't hurt. Ernskar and his guards are downstairs. They rushed over as soon as the fighting started. But King Euron, he didn't look so good. He's not going to make it, is he? Fildegore plays dirty. I wish I could help more, but I've already overstepped the limits of my contract. I need to get back to Mournhold. A new matter involving a rival group has become an issue. These people still need your help, Hero. Where is my father? What did our so-called allies do to him? I'll kill every single Argonian and Dark Elf myself if my father's been harmed. Filgore might have driven the blade, but the Dark Elves and Argonians did nothing to protect my father. Now where is he? Tell me! Guards, go to the king at once. As for you, what's your involvement in all this? Why are you here? Then we are allies, for now. I must go to my father. I don't care how we do it, but his life must be saved. My father can't die. Filgor will not win this war. Not this way. I forbid it. There must be something we can do for the king. The Stormfists have been dealt with, and the duplicates rounded up. But whatever poison attacks the king grows worse with each passing hour. We can't help him without more information. Now our enemies stoop so low as to ally themselves with Daedra. The poison will kill the king before we can get him to the healers in Windhelm. And no one here can cure our poison like this. We need to ask the Turnian monks for help. An old cult worship totem gods. Call them monks or witches as you will, but they wield strong healing magic. Their rituals are complex, and those who seek their help must bring their own ritual components. The poison weakens the king. We need a substance to bolster his life force. The Turnian monks also require a focus, an object or even a person. Something or someone that possesses a rare power can serve this function. The blood of a vampire gives strength and vitality, even to those on death's door. Whatever runs through their veins serves to enhance their life force. The tiniest amount should suffice to get the king through the ritual. His body is shutting down. This blood will work as a countering agent to the poison. It won't be enough to turn him, I don't think. Besides, we don't have many options available to us, do we? The hot springs to the north. Rumors suggest the place is haunted by the undead. Which is Stada, they call it. Let's hope the rumors are true. Of course, you'll also need to get one of them to give you its blood. The Argonians joked about one of their own during the feast. They called him the Dreamwalker. He watches over the dreams of the people of Darkwater Crossing. Yes, the same place where the trolls now run rampant. The spirits assure me that this Dreamwalker still lives. He is essential to saving King Euron. Where he hides, that I don't know. Search Darkwater Crossing for some clue as to where the Argonians have gone.
I am connected to the spirits of this world. Specifically, I have a bond with the spirit of the wolf. This bond has existed my entire life, even when I was a small child. When the spirits called to me, I left my home to seek them out. I found the Tunyan monks, a cult some would call them, but they heard the spirits just as I did. They took me in, trained me to listen to the call of the wild, to hone my skills, to be one with nature. I was young, and I missed my family. My responsibility to my bloodline finally called me back to Windhelm. I left the people I grew to love in the middle of the night and never looked back. Now we must go to them to save our king. Did you hear that bleak rock was hit hard by the Daggerfall Covenant? I have family out that way. I hope they're safe. to Loria's house. The lame ate them for breakfast.
to help me. Please help me. I pushed her down, and now she's gone. It was the only way I could get away from those horrible monsters. We were on our way back to Windhelm. We decided to take a shortcut, and those monsters surrounded us. I've never seen anything like them before. They were everywhere, all around us. There were so many of them. I... Please help. We were on our way back to Windhelm. We decided to take a shortcut, and those monsters surrounded us. They were everywhere, all around us. There were so many of them. I... By the three! Look out! I need to go. I need to get out of here. Those things are everywhere. Please, my friend may still be alive. If you see her, you need to save her. We were near the center of the hot springs when we were attacked. I... I pushed Imhe down. It was the only thing I could do to get away. I wasn't thinking. I never meant to hurt her. Please, find Imhe. I need to go. Stay away from me, you monster. Damn it, woman. You need to come with me now. The sun hurts me more than you know. We need to get inside. Scales here is about to have a really bad day if she doesn't come with me right now. That bite, it's spreading faster than she realizes. These creatures are the twisted offspring of a vampire and their bite is just as dangerous. Once bitten, the curse seeps into your body. It gets into your blood until the fever takes you. Then the craving comes over you. The craving for blood. There may be a way. I need to get her back to my manor, though. If she stays out here too long, the sun will find her. Then she'll experience a pain like she has never felt before. Right now, she just needs to shut up and listen to me. I'm just like the creatures that attacked her. Except my mind is my own, and I'm a little more sensitive to sunlight. Now, before you do something we'll both regret, hear me out. If I'm going to save Scales, I'm going to need your help. I need blood fiend dust. You can get it from the creatures that bit her. Then maybe we can reverse the effects and save Scales here. I'll keep her safe in the meantime. 
If you can get that dust, bring it to my manor. The cursed blood of my family does indeed run through my veins. I'm not ashamed of it. What I am ashamed of is what my people do with his power. I believe that I can trust you. If you help me with something, I'll do whatever you ask, as long as it doesn't involve hurting anyone. Time to go, Scales. We need to make sure you don't turn into one of these creatures. What are you doing? No, don't let him take me. Big man said you'd be showing up soon. He's upstairs with the lizard girl. Scales tried to escape, so we locked her up. Nothing to worry about. Just want to make sure everyone stays safe. It won't be long before she gets that crazed look in her eyes, though. You saw those things out there. They're mindless monsters. As ugly as they are evil, and only interested in killing and feasting. Do you really want scales out there attacking people? No? That's why I put her in a cage. There's a chance. But it's just that, a chance. There's no guarantee she'll survive the process. I've seen it kill as often as it cures. It's a risk, but the alternative is far, far worse. You've made the right decision. I promise I'll do everything in my power to help her. We'll watch over her. If she doesn't improve, we'll make sure she doesn't succumb to the bloodlust. Believe me, you won't regret this. Poor Scales burns with the blood fever. She'll be trying to eat every face she sees soon enough. Who would wish that fate upon her? Well, I suppose my father would, but you'll learn more about him shortly. I promise we'll look after Scales. We'll make sure that she's safe and that she doesn't hurt anyone. Now, I need your help. You saw for yourself, vampire abominations prowl the springs. Those are my father's toys, sick creations of his evil mind. We've all been infected, cursed, plagued. Call it what you will. We're vampires. But we don't have to succumb to the curse's savage nature. My father thinks otherwise. He believes we should embrace the bloodlust, the power, taking those who can't oppose us and making them our own. A civil war rages through East March. He feels the time is right to strike. He wants to grow an army of undead before anyone notices. My father must be stopped at all costs. He's already targeted the Winterland Hunters. He's about to turn them into his puppets. Joruk downstairs can tell you how to save them. That's our first step. We turn my father into dust, and end his tyranny once and for all. 
The hunters are merely a distraction. If we deny him their blood, he'll grow curious, perhaps even vulnerable. He'll want to know who interfered with his plans. This world is a deadly place when the sun glows bright in the sky. It's just too dangerous outside. Even the wounds I recently suffered require time and a great deal of blood to overcome. Imagine the cost of trying to deal with all those hunters. I must say you are a strange one. Others would have drawn weapons the moment they saw what I was. Anyway, I could attempt to scare them away, but they're hunters. I don't suspect they scare very easily. you to join our cause. Our battles never end well. True, his father's a bastard, but he's a strong bastard. Valeric can't beat him, and those who help us usually die. But enough depressing talk. How can Jeruk help you? Yes, yes, Jeruk always has a plan. The Blood Fiends hunt by scent. They have the hunter's scent and await the command to strike. If we mask the scent, the Blood Fiends will lose interest and wander off. The hunters will be saved. Take this liquid. It is a gift from Jeruk's close friends, Cello and Harp. Don't ask what it is you don't want to know. Splash it on the hunters. Make them smell like something the blood fiends won't want to eat. Oh, they'll hate it. They'll probably try to kill you. It's best if you rough them up a bit first. Show them who's stronger. Then splash it in their faces. As long as they end up very smelly, the hunters should be safe. Majorn, my master, would like to speak with you. You've made contact with Majorn's son, Valeric. He's a troubled young man, ashamed of his heritage. Majorn simply wishes to end the conflict with his son. For this reason, my lord requests to meet with you. Oh, it's not just you. Others have tried to help Valeric. They either see how futile their task is, or they fail. My master wants to explain this to you. You don't have to make any decisions right now. Just hear him out. He will meet with you in his manor, the one to my left. No harm will come to you at this time. Majorn gives you his word. You must be curious as to why I summoned you. I want to give you an opportunity to learn my son's true intentions. His fire is admirable, but he does more harm than good. Valeric opposes me because I embrace my true nature. I take what is mine without thought or hesitation. Valeric questions everything and tries to fix our people. He deprives them of what they need to survive while telling them there is a better way. When they finally taste fresh blood, the fever takes hold. They become wild, savage monsters, more dangerous than anything I create. Many call me evil, but at least I do not feed indiscriminately. I feed to survive. I feed to increase my power. Valeric 
must be stopped. My people may kill hundreds, but when his followers lose control, they kill thousands more. I hide nothing from you. I am not a good man nor a good father, but I shall not kill my only son. For that, I need your help. I could crush you, yet I do not. You need to understand. The two who follow my son are all that remain. The others lost control, slaughtered villages in their mindless rage. They had to be, how do I say it, put down. Such a waste. Of course he didn't. Why would he tell his new ally that he was the cause of such rampant slaughter? I grow tired of these questions. I have told you what you have asked. Now you must answer me. Will you assist me or shall we be enemies? Valeric will use the hunters in the area as he attempted to use you. They must be destroyed! Take this rune. Use it on one of my blood fiends. It will follow your commands. Make it do your bidding. Take it and slaughter the hunters!
The smell of fresh blood. It's intoxicating. I only wish I had been the one to drain the life from their bodies. But this is not about me. This is about sending a message. And Valeric has heard it loud and clear. Ah, but that is where you are wrong. Valeric will continue to spend every moment of his existence attempting to end mine. I grow tired of it. I have shown you a small glimpse of the power I can give you. Help me, and I will give you even more. My son hides in the crypts beneath this manor. Use the trap door in the next room and go to him. Then end this. Make his death quick, if you would. He is my son after all. I do not want him to suffer. It is the power to steal life. The power to consume an enemy's energy and make it your own. This blessing I give you. Do not waste it.
fight is finished. It isn't right for a father to thank the murderer of his son. Instead, I shall simply say that I appreciate what you have done. I will stay and mourn my son before I return to my clan. I knew in my heart that Valeric would never abandon the path he selected, but I never stopped trying to change his mind. At least, I can find comfort in that fact. I give you this as payment for services rendered. You are strong, and I respect that. Feel free to visit as often as you like. I shall happily provide you with power whenever you wish. If you need more power, you only need to ask. Otherwise, leave me to my solitude. Some believe that to perform a task for another deserves a favor in return. I am not such a person. I listen to your request, but I make no promises. My blood? You want to turn the king into one of us? Ha! Huh. Perhaps I misjudged you. We think alike, you and I. Yes, take my blood. Soon this land will bow to the vampires. Of course you are, of course. That's your story and you're sticking to it. Take my blood. Turn your king. Let him become one of us. I look forward to seeing how this plays out. Of course. I always honor my promises. Enjoy the power. <laughs>